this is the breadboard on which the circuit has been wired you have the op amp you have the feedback loop you have the two resistors r1 this is 1k and this is 10k and the power supply lines are exactly similar to the simulation you have this is the plus vcc the green is the ground and the black is the black is the ground and green is the negative that is connected here in this place you can see that this is the dual supply okay the three line plus ground and minus are connected here and this multimeter measures current 2 milliampere range this is measured in current and there is one more multimeter at the input which also is connected to 2 milliampere this measures the current at the input side. So there are two multimeters connecting at the input and the output both measuring currents. You have here a current source and these are the decades the dot here you I do not know whether you are able to see the light here so that is a decimal point. So here it shows 1 0 0.0 that means 10 microamperes. So 10 microamperes is a current right now it is in standby position I change and apply the current now. Now I apply the current to the circuit that current applied is 10 microamperes and that is read by this current meter it shows 0 0.010 milliamperes. 0 0.010 milliampere is nothing but 10 microamperes as you can see if you multiply by uh, uh, 10 microampere if you multiply with the divide by 1000 you will get milliampere so 0 0.010 milliampere so this is 10 microampere basically and because the gain is 11 1 plus r2 by r1 r2 is 10k r1 is 1k as you can see in the circuit on the top so 1 plus r2 by r1 is 11 11 times 10 microampere is 110 microamperes and if it is in milliamperes it should read 0.11 milliampere and you can see it reads 0.11 milliampere there is a decimal point here. So it is exactly multiplied by 10 times with a reference to the input current. Now I am going to change this dial to 20 microamperes I will change this to 20 microampere and immediately you can go and see what the input current meter reads it reads 0 0.020 which is actually 20 microamperes therefore I apply a 20 microampere current now I want to see what is the output current in this multimeter I measure the output current it shows 0.22 which corresponds to milliampere which corresponds to 220 milliampere so 20 multiplied by 11 is 220 milli microamperes and that is 0.22 milliamperes. So if I now again increase the current to 30 you can see it is reading 30 and correspondingly at the output you have 0 0.34 340 microamperes. So 11 times it is multiplied slightly more than 11 times I already mentioned to you the small variations that you get is because of the resistances not being exactly what we thought it should be right if you actually take the resistors and measure using multimeter and use that in this calculation you would find they will match with the corresponding readings here but you can see as I keep increasing the current the output current also increases every times in a linear fashion multiplied by the factor 11 because this is a current source right okay now last time I will do some additional value for example I have now put 60 microamperes as you can see here 0.062 so this is 62 or 63 milliamp uh, microamperes that is what it reads here multiplied by 11 should be around 66 or so and you can see in the output is around 69 or 68 so you can see the output current is multiplied by 1 plus r2 by r1 which is the gain factor here 